Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to discuss the difference between Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. So if you're new to cryptocurrencies and if you're new to Ethereum, you might have been online on some cryptocurrency exchange and you might have noticed that you can buy two different types of Ethereum. So you could buy Ethereum, which is ETH, but you can also buy Ethereum Classic, which is ETC. So what are the differences between these two coins? Uh, what are the technical differences and what are the ideological differences? Let's get into it, guys. So before we can talk about ETC, we have to mention that from the beginning, there was only ETH. From the beginning, we only had Ethereum and there was no Ethereum Classic. And how, so how, why did people create Ethereum Classic? Everything started with the DAO project on Ethereum. So DAO or Decentralized Autonomous Organization was a project built on top of Ethereum. And so this project was basically an application which, which could act as a self-steering self organization. And it had the biggest crowd sale in in history of cryptocurrency. And so people in, invested their own money into this, um, into this project and they received coins for their investment. However, however, there was a flaw in the smart contracts which, uh, which this decentralized organization uh, consisted of. There was a flaw in the smart contracts and this flaw or exploit uh, made it possible for some hacker or a group of hackers to take to take 50 million worth of ether from the crowd sale. So the hackers or exploiters because it wasn't really a hack it was an exploitation of a flaw in the code uh, of the decentralized organization, a uh, decentralized autonomous organization, the smart contracts which this organization consisted of. So by using this flaw, the exploiters were able to take 50 million dollars worth of ether at that time and steal it. And this caused a lot of uh, discussions and the main Ethereum team and community wanted to do a hard fork and reverse this uh, theft so that the investors would get their money back uh, and uh, the, uh, the hackers would lose their money. But for that they needed a hard fork and they would have to uh, make alterations to the blockchain. And this is where the whole ideological uh, debate started because while the majority of the developers and the majority of Ethereum community agreed that it could be a good idea to return the funds to the investors by altering the blockchain, this a small minority or not that small, a smaller but vocal minority well, didn't want to uh, mutate the blockchain because the whole idea of a blockchain is that it should be immutable. Code is law, as uh, uh, as people uh, <laughs> say sometimes. So in uh, in Ethereum and in these uh, decentralized uh, applications, co code should be law. And therefore, if there is an exploit that was used. Uh, we can't just go back and reverse it because code is law. So as we can see, there are two directions. One where people wanted to reverse this, the theft by altering the blockchain, by mutating the blockchain. Uh, and a minority wanted to continue on the old blockchain and they didn't want to do this hard fork where the theft would be reversed because mostly of ideological reasons, of philosophical reasons, uh, based on the idea that if something occurred on the blockchain, it should be, 
it, it, it should stay on the blockchain. We shouldn't go, go back and reverse transactions, even if that transaction was a th theft. And so this is why we have two coins currently. Ethereum or ETH is the coin that hard forked, reversed uh, the theft and returned the funds to the investors. While Ethereum Classic continued mining on the old blockchain and it didn't reverse uh, this whole situation. And uh, as you can imagine, these two blockchains are identical up to the point where Ethereum hard forked from Ethereum Classic. And if you want to know more about hard forks and how they work, you can check out my, my video on hard forks where I talk about in uh, more detail what exactly happens to a blockchain when, uh, when someone does a hard fork from that blockchain. And um, yeah, guys, that is the reason why we have Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Ethereum hard forked and reversed the theft while Ethereum Classic continued on the old blockchain. Let's talk about the future. Who will prevail? Uh, well, the majority of miners and the whole community have basically switched to Ethereum, the coin that hard forked. And uh, the main developers of Ethereum are on this F F blockchain, while um, while uh, Ethereum Classic is uh, not as popular as Ethereum, and from what I've read, they have uh, like four developers working on Ethereum Classic. Uh, however, theoretically, anyone could of course join and work. Uh, but as I understand it, there are not a lot of people working on Ethereum Classic, and there is not a lot of progress happening on Ethereum Classic, not as much innovation as in Ethereum. So one example is that uh, Ethereum is planning to go to, to switch from proof of work to proof of stake. If you want to know more about proof of work, pr proof of stake, I also have a video on that. You can check, check it out in the description. Uh, while Ethereum Classic, uh, they don't really want to follow the innovation and um, uh, maybe it's because they don't see the benefits of proof of stake, but it could also be the case that it's just not a lot of progress happening on the Ethereum Classic front. Uh, however, we'll have to see uh, how, how it developed. Uh, what do you think, guys? Uh, do you agree with Ethereum or Ethereum Classic on an ideological level? And do you agree with my analysis that, uh, that Ethereum has brighter future compared to Ethereum Classic? Because that is a bit how I see it. Um, I, I have a hard time imagining uh, Ethereum Classic innovating and uh, uh, and uh, taking over the market share from Ethereum. But I could be wrong. R <laughs> leave your comments in the comment section below. Write your opinions and let's have a discussion about Ethereum versus Ethereum Classic. And if you are a new viewer and you like technology, you like blockchain programming, you should definitely subscribe to this channel guys because you will find it interesting i myself am a software developer and i post videos every single day so today we talked about ethereum versus ethereum classic i'll see you guys tomorrow